Hi there and welcome back. Um, so I'm back to do uh, another flippy uh, element. So, so far we've um, got this side and uh, this side completed. That's going to be uh, where the journal goes. So next uh, we've got this back section. So I'm going to use these two envelopes and a couple of um, elements from the kit so I'm going to attach that uh, around the page let me just like so so that's going to be the one that goes round so this envelope is going to get stuck down to here and I'm just going to do it with the sticky thing because paper <coughs> will go over over the top, so I'll pop that in and stick that down so it will open and then that will open. Let's see, I need to glue it. So I've got, uh, these are journal cards out of uh, the Red Autumn kit. I don't know where the other two, two have gone. Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> there's another two as well. There they are. <laughs> so when I cut them out, I left um, this on. I thought, oh, I'll leave that on in case I want to use them as some kind of flip outs. And then I thought, oh yes, I can use them as a flip out on, on the envelope. So I think I'm going to go for those two. So I'll just cut down uh, the middle and part them. And then I'll fold them um, down. You can use your scoreboard if you want. Obviously, if you've got a space above your um, journal card, you could keep that on. Um, if you've no space, you can obviously put put a hinge um, on. It's a good way to use uh, some journal cards. So I was thinking of tucking that one round there and that one round there. So it will open like that. And then that will open like that. And that will open like that. So with those two being quite red, I'm going to... Um, Put some uh, brownish um, paper at the back. I might, um, that's got music print behind. And I do have this. I think this is out of the red cap. So I'll just tear down here. I don't know why I reached for, for that one. So if I put that on and can you see how I've just took the envelope over so then if I tear it there it, it will give me a bit of a gap um, all, all the way around. Just take that top bit off. Same again. It's just a rough, um, you know, just like I'm not, you know, wanting a two mil uh, all the way around or anything um, like that. Okay, <laughs> that goes that way. Let's have a look at that. So yeah, that's lovely. So, shall I 
look around this and ink around um, the journal cards. Now the journal cards, they can either be wrote on uh, the backs of them or um, they could have extra pockets on. So I don't know yet um, what, what I'm going to do um, with them. I don't know if to put that one underneath there instead of having it uh, going round there. I think I will uh, with that. So I'm just going to get that bone folder and give it a good good squidge down. I could round the corners if, if I wanted but I'm going to leave them pointed. Okay and then we'll do the inside. Then could do some light stenciling or some uh, text stamping. We could cover them with, with paper. So I'm going to attach that to there. I'm going to just have it just a little bit lower, only a, you know, a fraction. Sure, that's on nice, yeah. So that can go there. So I'm going to glue this down onto the envelope. Make sure I get these sides. I should get into the habit of doing the sides first and then doing the psh in the middle tend to do that and then think oh yeah I've been doing that for ages everything's done and then you forget the actual edges <laughs> so yeah do the edges first Tanya and then the middle let's move that down a little bit okay so that's that bit and ink around this one to attach that there and that will go round um, the other side of the page when I attach it. Okay, so you can have it like that or like that. So we'll open it up. Let's just make sure that's on nice. Okay, so I did another video earlier. I, I think you'll have seen that. So I got some of my um, inks out and I did some leaf stamping. So I think just to give this a bit of interest, oop, I'm going to throw the ink around. Um, I'm just going to do some leaf stamping. Oop. <laughs> I don't know why I've put it all the way over there. Okay. So that's rhubarb stalk, tang tangalo, uh, rich cocoa 
and Galaxy Gold. Uh, I have got these on my Amazon favourites and they are under inks. sure um, what I'm doing <laughs> most of the time <laughs> right so that's that part then it would that's going to be around there so you would open it and you would have this part so what am I going to do we need a pocket. I might keep that as journal uh, page. And I might, I could do with sticking something um, on there. Let's um, have a look. I think that would be, be nice. I'm going to stick this down. I'm not going to make it into a um, tuck because we, we did that over on the other side. Okay, so just glue, glue that down. Oh, I've got those couple of leaves. They was from uh, your creative studio uh, box. They would be from uh, ones from last last autumn. Just put that there. Let's, let's give it a bit of bit of interest. hide that flap so I forget about it um, so I'm gonna have a pocket on here and um, let me let's look what pocket and then I can perhaps um, that'd be nice yeah I think I'll I think I'll have that so I'll leave those out Will this cover this? Oh, it will. Um, I've used all the, the red sheets and I'm hoping not to um, print print the kit out again. So I'm going to see, see how I go, go on. I might end up having to do, um, you know, a couple of the red ones. I've got plenty of uh, brown because obviously I can use any brown uh, from one of the William Morris type kits. Oh, it doesn't even need to be William Morris, any wallpaper kit or whatever. Make sure this is the right way and it wasn't. <laughs> I think that just fits, fits nice. I'll do it that way and then I will hide uh, that little bit when I pop the pocket down. So I think this pocket might be from uh, the Winter Woods kit. Um, I know it's from one of the kits that I used last year. Okay. 
right. Just fold these down. Flatten it down so it lays nice. Okay, so that's that, and then it will open like that. Now, I might be careful on that. No, I can't open the top on. Oh, I can open the top on that if I want, because the card's on the side. So I might open that, that top up, actually, because I've not opened any of the... So it's that side. Um, opened any of them them up. So I might do a bit of a uh, collage. Oh, that looks a bit. It's just straight in it. Okay, so I might start this side. Let's start this side. that come across to it about there so if I go like that Just checking that I'm not in the in the crease. And then just a piece across, across there. Around the edge. <laughs> Bye. 
right? So that's that. Let me... And got coming out for a cross there. So I don't want more of the same. Mm, what about that? No. Let's pull the smaller bits together. No. There we go. Perfect. And then I, I don't know if to. No, that's too too patchy. So I could do it using those up first. Little, little bits. Right, let's ink around and this, and then I'll open the top of that um, envelope. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, doesn't matter. Um, I'll just put some some washi tape okay so that's the inside of that okay so I'm opening the top of this on top so open that so I'm gonna go down diagonal a little bit and then straight across And then up diagonal like that and then we've got a decent uh, pocket in there so just yeah yep. flipping and flapping so we've got that open it we've got that open it we've got that Something is poking up. Right, can we see? Yeah, we can. Let's have a look at those pockets. They're going to be too big. I don't know if to do a bit of a um, that's where the pocket's going to be. Um, a couple of these scattered, scattered about. So you've got a tiny pocket and you've got a, probably a bit better there. Uh, that one can just be a tiny pocket. That one can be one that goes up. Yeah, they're nice. 
So that can be up one. That can be a side one. No, I don't like um I think it just needs three. But I might want one with a different colour. Oh, that's a nice colour. So I'm gonna go go with that. Right. So they're bigger pockets, keep those at the back. So you've got three little pockets and three little uh, writing spaces. So they're going to all want in Kent. Oh, I'm not going to see the back. Silly me. I'm going to have the two on there and then have the one um, on there. So if I do that middle ish, so I need to leave enough room to be able to put um, a bit of something in the pocket. Do that one about there. Okay, so put this one in first. So glue. Three sides. Nope. Now I'll place that middle-ish. Okay. So I'll do this one at the bottom. Side a bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to stick some uh, stamps around it, even though I said I wasn't uh, decorating. Um, I just fancy. Just fancy doing it, so I might put some. Oh, I've got that owl one there. Oh, I've got that red flower one, that's that's nice. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to, to bring that red in. I've got a red mushroom there. Mushroom that. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It's as if it's the post room. <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's a sticker. I think this was from a Your Creative Studio uh, box. Come on. These mushroom ones are from a bag that I bought off um, Amazon. 
and I will look if they're on my favourites. If they aren't, I will put them in. I'll put them under. Um, I think I've got a thing that says ephemera. Um, I'll put it under that. So I've got three little pockets, a pocket there, right in space and a pocket at the top. So that is that one um, and that is going to fit in here like so and I've got those file folders which I'm going to cut in half and I thought they can go um, on this main page like so yeah that's nice um, I'm going to pause and I'm going to stick the paper down and stick those down because I'd like to make uh, another one of those for from that side and on that side I will have to stick um, I mean I could have it on I might have it on the middle for a, for a change yeah I think I'll have it on the middle for on when I do that one okay I'll be back in a tick okay so that's uh, that side and we've got the pocket there Fold it over, pocket there, all these little pockets and right in spaces and then we've got a double pocket there. I've not glued at the bottom of that one so that goes all the way uh, down. So that needs uh, some decoration. So I think I'm actually going to call that uh, a day because I'm thinking if I put the next one onto here then I think I'm going to have a belly band behind it and and things um, and time time has uh, trotted on so oh I added an extra uh, pocket there as well I found that after um, we did the last video so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that hopefully I'll be able to squeeze uh, the last video um, in tomorrow um and that'll be be it with this um one i'll finish the rest of it off screen and uh yeah then i'll be back back with a flip through so thank you very much for joining me and um yeah i'll see you later or i'll see you tomorrow bye for now